Hello Aries, how are you doing? Welcome to your reading. So let's take a look and see what the vibes are at this time for you. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. Ouch. Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. What's the overall vibe here? Who? Where? No. So either you can't understand them. There's conflict. There's misunderstandings. You're putting someone in their place. There's something like there's something going on here. Aries, you're like, bump the BS. I'm out of here. Aries, sun, moon, Venus signs. So some of you are tired of the, you're tired of the blockages. You're tired of the blockages. You know, this is an energy that I feel like is coming in as like, am I blocking myself by choosing this or choosing these people? Am I blocking myself by not reminding myself that I deserve better? Like, five of wands, challenges, conflict, right? Whenever you were driving and there's a block, right? There's some sort of block. There's always that sign that says detour, right? Or we figure it out. So, I feel like at this time you're really focused on the detour. Like, how do I just get around or how do I find another route? Because whatever you're in right now, I feel like there's a need to step back and take a look at self. Aries. Okay. Uh, there's also an energy of, you know, I don't see this growing. I don't see this work situation growing. I don't see this love situation growing here. There's something about... I need to elevate. It's it's like you want to like evolve. And I feel like you're going to do it, especially with that Queen of Wands, the bottom of the deck there. You're going to do it. But there's something here that it's like possibly confusing you. It's confusing you, but it's not it's not hindering you from like from moving away from it and growing. Like I feel like you're starting to realize like, oh, this is a blockage. Like or you know, this is not really what I want. All right. That's the energy at this time, Aries. So I don't know who you're possibly going back and forth with, or maybe you're going back and forth with your thoughts, or there's a lack of proper communication, but I feel like you're about to step away from it. Like, all right, we're not doing this, right? How does this person feel about Aries? In love? How does this person feel like Aries? What? How do this person feel about Aries? Um... They feel like you're putting yourself first, honestly. I, I feel like this person feels like you're putting yourself first. This person feels like you... Hmm? For some of my Aries, it's like... This person's like, oh, you don't see or understand some of the things that I've done for you. Or you don't notice some of the things that I've... Like, yeah, I'm just getting this energy of like, you don't... You don't you're not thankful for some of the things that I've done for you. That's what I'm getting. Could be someone that feels like they're always right. Maybe the both of you feel like you're always right. There's this energy of like someone feeling like they're always right here. What is this person? What is their intentions with Aries at this time? Like what's going on here? Ah, look at these feelings. Look at those emotions there. Hmm. Someone here could be also waiting for you to cool off for them to say something or for them to intervene or come in here. Okay. I feel like the both of you are trying to come in as very mature, but not enough, not mature. No, uh, there's just energy of like, my intentions is to care for you. My intentions is to uh, show you how much I care for you. That's what my intentions are. But there's a struggle. There's like a, a, maybe there's a power struggle or there's some sort of struggle. What's going, like, what's the overall energy for this connection? Whoa. Aries, so Gemini energy here. Okay, could be a Gemini. We have Capricorn towards Virgo. That could be their moon sign. Either way here, we have a very strong connection between the two of you. It's like we, we go through this, but we always come back. King of Cups, the lovers here. So there's definitely love. There's definitely emotions. But I'm also hearing, like, let's take a look at ourselves here first. 
So I feel like maybe, and sorry Aries, but I feel like maybe the both of you are bringing in issues here. The both of you are bringing in some sort of misunderstanding energy. Like I feel like someone here is looking up and just saying like, why? Like why can't we just have a smooth sailing? And the other person's like, it's your fault. Like it, it's like a blame energy, but it's still an energy of we're still connected. Look at look at how this person or you, them, it, they're trying to reach for each other's hands, right? We're still reaching for one another. We're still wanting one another, but yet we're still trying to figure out why we're here. Hmm. How's Aries feeling about this connection? This is so interesting. I mean, you guys really have feelings for each other, right? But I feel like someone here needs to make a decision. Let go of ego. Stop possibly telling other people about the situation here. Or there could be something about someone nervous about someone telling someone something. Okay. Aries feels about this connection. How? Oh, Aries is suited up. Aries is suited up here. Aries is coming in with Aries energy, independent, detached, disciplined here. I feel like you feel as if you have to speak up for yourself. You have to protect yourself. There's something about you protecting yourself from someone that's constantly possibly playing with you. Like you feel like you're being played with. You feel like you're being mocked to some degree. This is what I'm getting, Aries. Like, you feel like this person's constantly in and out. I do feel like you're holding back on some of the things that you could say. That's really what I'm getting. Like, I could I could really say something right now, but I'm not going to say anything. Some of you also, you're trying to keep your composure at work. You're trying to keep your composure with the boss figure as well. But from what I'm getting, you're just like, I have to, I have to just manifest. I have to manifest here. I have to play it cool. So I feel like Aries is playing it cool, okay? Especially when it comes to this relationship here. You're like, I need to pay attention to my reactions. I need to pay attention to how I come off. I need to pay attention to myself. I don't want to be unstable, the King of Wands. I don't want to just say anything or do anything that's going to cause issues down the line. So you're very, you're very cautious with how you're coming off. Aries, if you weren't cautious, what would you do? I wonder what you would do. Just curiosity. <clears throat> Let's get the outcome here for this situation. What is the outcome? Of course. Ooh. Aries. Someone here is really, like, really fed up, honestly. Someone here is really fed up. And they may decline an offer. Some of you may feel like, you know, maybe you'll ignore their call. Or someone's ignoring someone's call here. Someone's ignoring someone's outreach. I would say really wait till after Mercury in retrograde to really have a deeper conversation or a deeper moment here. I just feel like there's just a lot of ego and a lot of, you know, self-control going on or a lack of self-control. But I do feel like someone here in the meantime, right, during this energy, someone here feels like, listen, my offer is walking away. Like, I'm tired. Seriously. I'm, I'm tired. That's basically what I'm getting here when it comes to the outcome. Why is the Eight of Cups there? Oh, some of you feel like you could do better. You feel like you could do better. If not, it's an energy of I'm walking away because I don't feel like this person's giving me something authentic and I'm not trying to play games, but I'm doing what's best for me. So some of you, again, you may be in a place where it's like, I don't have to... Um, I don't have to constantly go back and forth with you. I could love you from afar. So some of you could be loving this person from afar or there is some sort of distance. Or again, you're going after something that you know that you deserve. Aries, look, there's someone here that is watching this video. It may not be everybody, but there's one person or maybe more that's saying, I know I deserve better. I know that I deserve better. I know that I could um, attract something better for myself. I know that. I know that. I know that I could use my, um, my tools in life, my gifts, my abundance to find something better. There's an offer you're walking away from, basically. Ah, we have the Empress of the Bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're walking away from someone that doesn't really know how to come forward with the truth 
they don't really know how to plant seeds and keep on watering it. It's like there's this inconsistent energy. Yeah. Some of you may actually walk away. If it's not you, then it's your person. But I do feel like someone here, again, not feel, someone here is walking away, turning their back and saying it's too much. I know there's something greater for me. Okay? I will talk to you soon, Aries. I hope this resonated. If you are interested in a personal reading, right, and you want to connect a bit deeper, right, about your person, about your situation, check out my services. I have different services. I could do a video for you like such, or again, there's, you know, different um, options for you on my website. So I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.